Thank you, Heavenly Father. To you, Lord, be all the glory, Lord. Adoration forevermore. Shalom, shalom, shalom. The Lord is good and His mercy is endures forever. I want to talk about this verse. Psalm 9, verse 17. What does it mean? As I read it from this um, translation, New King James Version. Let me read it here. So it reads, The wicked will be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God. Meaning, and all the nations that forget God will be turned into hell. Now, I've always said it, that it is the children of Israel that are salt and cross of Calvary people. If you look at that nation, N-A stands for salt. They put it sometimes as N-A plus. But that is also to remind you that we are the salt of the earth as God's chosen people and we should not lose our flavor. We begin to, you know, copy the world. When we do that, we lose our flavor. But when we are a blessing to God's people and we preach to the world, what are we supposed to really do to the world? Not befriend them and end up as James 4, 4 enemies of God. No. We are supposed to preach to them. Most of them are godless, so they won't receive the preaching anyway. But you must not stop preaching. Because you don't know who is a pilot hiding in them as Cain, as Esau, as demonic ones of uh, Revelation 18 to abode of Babylon. But Pilate is usually the poor. The one that rose away from them and washed his hands in Matthew 27. I said, me, I know they, I'm innocent. So I will stay innocent of the blood of the Lord Yeshua. But the rest of them say, let the blood of Yeshua be against them. We said this so many times in videos as you watch and follow God's teaching in this channel. So, this Psalm 9 17 is talking about the wicked. Long story short, the wicked are the Gentiles, pagans, heathen, unbelievers, godless of Hebrews 12 16. Whenever God chooses, a righteous man, an evil man, falls off. Abel was chosen. He offered the best sacrifice, the spiritual sacrifice, the heart, you know, loving sacrifice to the Lord in Genesis. And Cain was the careless one who became a murderer, jealousy. When God chose, you know, Enoch, who walked with God, we saw also is the giants that were the negative representation. When God chose Noah, it is Japheth that fell. When God chose uh, Abraham, it is Lot that fell. When God chose Isaac, it is Ishmael that fell. When God chose Jacob, it is Esau that fell. When God chose Judah and his spirit was lifted up, it is Dan that fell. Dan is body flesh. You and I, we are in this body flesh because we are married to Dan or we are in Dan or we have something to do with Dan. And God help you. Some of us were like the Sapphira who died in the mountain top. Now we are in the valley. You are still choosing to be enslaved by these foolish ones who do not know what it is to be a male, to be a man, or to be a husband. As a male, you are a male from the one of you being birth. We see by your organ, not those who go and uh, transgender uh, themselves and turn themselves from male to female, female to male. Those ones are in the wrath of God. The fact, the wrath God is preparing for them, they don't know. Sometimes I just don't want to think about what is awaiting. These ones of which we are reading, Psalm 9, 17. They will be turned into hell, but they don't know. Some of them are on YouTube or on social, do all sorts of filthiness. You just look at them. And our own women that follow them is sometimes, why I even go to some site to put one in? Yes, 
I put one and what I do is that once I'm putting one in, sometimes I know that share your video with them. Let's just put the one in. So I now put, I now click on share on that video. I want to put my, you know, correction or word of advice. I save that video. That is how all this video appear in my channel sometimes. Because as I put it under watch later, then I'll go and choose my own link. Maybe if there are people that do with this um, horoscope, all this one that say they, they can palm read your hand, tell you future. These are all the divination, all the things the Lord God told Israel to drive away from Israel or they will be corrupted. So I drove them away, the first king of Israel. He himself ended up going back to seek them. As they conjure up a demon that was taking the image of um, Samuel, rather, for was King Saul. So, when I go to those places, I go there because even our own people of the earth are there joining. Early, even those who don't say horoscope, early morning, you mean, all these things. It's wrong. And God is not happy that you are not talking, you are not speaking out for Him. Shout aloud, speak out against their sins and rebellion. Isaiah 58 1 to 2. You say, Where did God say we should shout? Even in the Testament, the person of the Holy Spirit, John Beloved, he said, I'm the voice of one shouting and crying in the wilderness. Because when you have a very gentle people of God and wild one, confused, rude together, you have to shout too. That's not the place of gentility. When God, the Son of the Living God, Entered the temple and saw the wild ones, the likes of Pharisees who bowed to Esau and challenged their own Lord. He drove them out of the temple of the living God. So I said, let me share on this because sometimes some of us don't want to attend to these verses that are just for forgetting your creator in the days of your youth. <laughs> they are done for, they are in hellfire. When God put his command in Ecclesiastes 12.1, remember the Lord your creator in the days of your youth. You say you are not youth. You are just at most 70 years old, permitted for you to live and prove yourself to God that you are ready for heaven, not to serve down again, all over again. So all of you saying, eh, Father in the Lord, Mother in the Lord, to fellow brother and sister, that's even if they are up to that standard of brother and sister and they are not just hypocrites. Against Matthew 23 9, you call somebody Father in the Lord. God will not fill you with His Holy Spirit. Oh. You already have your Father who will fill you with their junk if you don't repent. So, yes, those who forget 